Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Nino Kuni Crossworlds video, and today we are going to talk about familiars. We're going to talk about why they're so important, and they are massively important for your account, and what you should do with them. Which one of them should you level up? Which one should you enhance? Which one should you evolve? All of the different things you can do with familiars. We're going to talk about it right here, as well as kind of building out your team of familiars. So, I want to start with stats. Now, note on the bottom of my screen right here, I have three different familiars of equipped and you can see I can like switch between them every one of them all three that I have equipped my character my player gets 100% of their stats applied to my stats so your combat power goes up dramatically if you're leveling up and taking care of your familiars they are just stat sticks for your player or they're not just stat sticks but they're big stat sticks so let's go in here and talk about how to make them stronger because that's obviously something that's going to be important so we're going to go into train there are five different options for how to increase the the power of your familiars you have level up evolve enhance enhance absorb and awaken let's start with level up this seems like the most obvious one and in many games it is you just take a familiar and you just level up to max because you have a ton of exp material not this game this game the exp material which are these little peas in a pod guys are the rarest things these are one of the major bottlenecks of this game is exp for like your familiars and your weapons but we're going to talk about weapons um these guys right here these peas these are your main source of familiar experience in my opinion, you should be dumping them into your four-star familiars, your rare boys, the ones you really care about investing in, the ones that you're building for the future. Don't put them into your three stars. Don't put them into your two stars. Spend your experience, guys, on your main ones, your rares. A base four-star familiar will scale better. It already starts with more stats, and as you level it up, it will gain more and more. It's a base four-star. It's the rare one. Those are the ones you want to invest your leveling materials into now you can consume other familiars to level up but note you don't get as much experience for them and they have another purpose which we'll get to in a minute so i'm going to go ahead and commit to ouroboros here i'm going to level him up with my exp material boom here we go i gain about what how much combat power do i gain there uh 500 or so he gains some attack defense and hp my character gains all of that attack defense and hp that was very worth it. Now, we can go to Evolve. This is something you cannot do until one of your familiars is max level. In this case, with our Ouroboros, we'd have to get him to level 30. You can see I've consumed all of my Earth leveling materials, and he's only level 8. That's why it's so important to invest into your strongest one, because eventually you're going to want to evolve them. This will give him their next star, so I could take a 4 star, turn him into a 5 star. It's how you give him that extra star rating. Again, focus on your powerful ones. Then you have Enhance. This is where you feed them your gummies. Now, these are Omega Rare, and they just give stats. Like, these red ones give Attack plus 1, the blue ones give Defense plus 1, and the green ones give HP. If I was going to give my Ouroboros all of these, he would gain a total of 17 stats, and his combat power would jump from 17.3 to over 18,000. So, these are very important. I'm not going to go ahead and commit those to him yet, but that's what you want to do. And just like leveling materials, just like EXP materials, I think you should only be putting those into your favorite, into your main familiar. Now, next up, Enhance Absorb. This is a function where you can have a new familiar essentially eat the old familiar that you gave your gummies to. So, like, say I just made a mistake and I gave all my gummies to a three-star Rambunctus right here. And I was like, oh, shit, I wasted all my rare gummies. No, no, no. I could come down here and have my, like, Ouroboros eat him. And then he would gain those gummy stats. So you didn't waste them, but you do consume that old familiar. So keep that in mind. You kind of, like, eat him, but you get the enhancement. So at least you're not throwing your gummies away. It's something you can do. Okay, and then you have Awaken. Now, Awaken here is what you're going to do to your three and two star familiars to power them up. Now, let's take, for example, this guy right here. This is a defensive Earth-type familiar, right? And if we look at him, what's he do? Well, he's got a bunch of stats. 
and he's got some skills, but I don't want to put my EXP material into him. So what if I want to use him? How can I make him stronger? You do that by awakening him. He's right now a plus one. I'm going to make him a plus two. It would take two duplicates to get from plus one to plus two. It takes only one duplicate to get from plus zero to plus one. Let's go ahead and do this. So if we we're going to hit awaken here, he's going to eat because essentially just eat two of himself and he awakens to a plus three. I'm sorry, he wakes to a plus two. As he does that, he gains a uh, 33 attack. He gains uh, four, almost 40 defense. He gains 300 HP. All of these stats that he gained, my character just gained. So you use your EXP material on your four stars, on your super rare boys, and you have your smaller guys, your two stars and three stars that you want to use, consume duplicates of themselves to power up and gain more stats. Now, there's another thing I want to say about familiars before I go on to how to acquire them, which there is some important things here about how to acquire them, so stay tuned for that. But we go into familiars here. You're going to, at some point in this game, want to build mono element sets. Because let's take, for example, uh, this guy right here, Splisher. This is one of the four stars that I have, and his heart, his passive ability, his passive field ability, so if he's equipped, he just does this passively, he decreases the skill cooldown of my water familiars that are coming with me. So he specifically buffs my other equipped water familiars, and he decreases my special cooldown proportional to the number of water familiars equipped. So you can see that he works very, very well in a team of water familiars. Um, and his stats for this go up as you yo, consume more of his dupes, which consuming four star dupes is a bit of a thing. Um, but yeah, there you go. And then his ability is prayer. So he has a heal on him. I really like this guy and he benefits from being with water familiars. So you can see I have him at level eight. I have spent some EXP material to level him up and I'm running him with a plus four whale and a plus four bird. Now I've done some polls like in the game. I've spent a little bit of money and done a few polls. So I have a few more dupes than the average person does. And that is definitely one way of getting duplicates is by pulling in the gotcha, using your tickets, using your crystals, whatever. There is another way to get familiars and it is super important and you can actually get incredibly lucky right here. It's your eggs. The thing you want to pay attention to with your eggs, the thing you want to pay attention to is these wishes. And I know it costs 15,000 to refresh these things, but I think you should at least go for a three-star wish. So right here, I'm going to hatch this egg with a three-star wish. This one, I got another three-star. I'm good with that. Let's go for that. You can get, and right here, right here, I got nothing I want. I'm going to go ahead and refresh those. Again, nothing I want. It costs 30000 now. Is it worth it for me? No. Nah. One more time. Okay. Here's two different three-star options. Three different ones. Um, I'm going to go for Worker Bumbler. I don't really have a lot of good light element ones, so I'm going to hatch that. Each one of these I have set up to attempt, like when you wish you have a better chance, I'm wishing for three stars. Let me go ahead and just hatch one of them right here. Let's reduce the time. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go for it. And so here we go. Let's hatch it. Did it did it cash out for me? Did I get my guy? Uh, no, I got a one star stitcher. So you can see it didn't work out, but I increased my chances. Here, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this once. Didn't like any of those. Ooh, I don't like any of those either. I'm going to waste gold one more time. Oof, let's just go earth type and hatch it. Now, the reason I'm watching those closely, you can get four star familiars from these hatchers. I'm going to put a screenshot on the screen, two screenshots actually, of a person in my guild who one of their wishes was a four star and then sure enough, two hours later, boom, four star familiar coming home from these eggs. So these eggs are a very important um, bit of fodder, right, for increasing, for eating themselves, plus one, plus two, plus three, and they're a good chance, well, not a good chance, but there is a chance you get some four stars in there. Now, for fun, let's go ahead and do a poll. I want to go ahead and do a poll right here. Let's see. Let's just have some fun in this. Let's do a summon. I have tickets. I've earned some more tickets in the game. So uh, let's do a tin poll on these familiar tickets. Boom. Here we go. Now, all right. I have not had the best luck in here yet. You want this guy to end up accidentally dropping his little bottle into the cauldron, not putting it, not putting it in just one drop at a time. However, that went rainbow. I think I got lucky anyway. This is the first time I've ever seen it go rainbow without him, um, 
dropping it in. So great, I'm gonna get some three stars here. And these three stars, like I said, that's two duplicates right there. That's the Hawk that I'm using on my water team. And that's the guy I was just powering up. So that's great. Here's some two stars. Um, these might be more useful for like free to play players to consume and get them to plus 10. And then here we go, four star me. What do we get? What did we get? Come on, come on. Just show me, just bring it home. It's a fire. Was it fire or was that just like animation? I don't know. It's, I don't know the animations in this yet. Let's see. Okay, might. I did not have a might yet. So this is a good pickup for me. A four star fire familiar. Somebody I could be putting my EXP materials into. Stuff like that. That is awesome. I am. That is. Oh, I did that on the wrong banner. Whoops. I meant to pull on this event banner because I'm working towards that pity. What? What? One more? Guys, do I hear one more summon? Do, do I hear one more summon? I hear one more summon. I meant to pull on this one anyway, so I made a mistake. Now I have to correct that mistake by, I have some gems. I'll, I'll use my gems to pull on this one. Come on, dude, drop it in there. Dang it. Okay, go rainbow. It went rainbow. Are we learning? Did we get lucky twice in a row? Maybe we did. Yeah, we did, we did, excellent. Okay, let's get these two stars out of the way. Then let's go ahead and open these three star eggs. Boom, boom, boom. There's two more of the guys I'm awakening. There's another water chicken. And for the for the piece de resistance, I don't know if I said that right. I probably didn't say that right. I'm pretty tired. I've been playing a lot of video games the last few days. Anyway, here we go. What do we get? Rainbow egg. The suspense is killing me. I wouldn't mind a duplicate of a four star I already have. No, I got the monkey. I got the monkey. So that's my first light element four star. Thumble Lemur. That's fantastic. I'm going to have to... He's a support type too. As a tank, you guys, I have loved the support type familiars. Oh my... Oh my gosh. Like the heals, the shields, just keeping me alive in all these fights. I love it. So here's my new guy. Um, he decreases skill cooldown of his paired guys. That's wonderful. And then he scatters bananas to restore my HP over time and move corruption. Do I have to go pick up those bananas? Hopefully I just auto eat the bananas. That's freaking awesome. All right. I think that's everything I wanted to talk about with familiars. So um, if I'm going to recap it just real fast, EXP material to your rare boys consume to go plus up for your three star and two stars. All of those give you stats. All of those stats help your character out. Oh, I'm going to cut back in here for a second. I forgot to talk about sets. Note here in the bottom right corner, there's a two. If I click on that, it brings up this list of sets. I have the earth set right here. My number one set is my water set. What you can do with sets is actually equip different gear and familiars. For the sake of this video, note that I have my water familiars equipped here and I can switch to my earth familiars here. Now, this isn't something you might be able to have um, a lot of until you've played longer and have more EXP material, more duplicates to consume, but your familiar, the one you have out, does attack the enemy and that type of damage matters a lot. You wanna be hitting elemental weakness in this game. So setting up familiar sets, especially if those familiars play off of each other when they're in the same element is kind of an important little tip I wanted to make sure and throw in. So like there's my water set, which is currently stronger. My CP goes up to 155. And then here's my earth set. These are the only two I have set up. I dropped to 151, but that is a that is very worth it. If I was fighting, you know, water, I would want my earth on. Even with a little bit less combat power, it'd be very worth it to have my earth stuff out. Okay, there's my tips for today, guys. I hope this guide was helpful. I'm going to try and make it into a, uh, you know, I'll try to keep these video series rolling. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the game as much as me, and I will catch you next time. Peace.